There is still an active cream, uh, crime scene at, an, at this hour in a Lee County neighborhood. The sheriff's office is investigating a deputy involved shooting that happened this morning. Deputies responded to a call of a suicidal man in a house in the Tice area. Fox 4's Rob Manch live at the scene tonight. And Rob, I understand that the shooting happened actually inside the house. Yeah, so the Lee County Sheriff's Office tells me when deputies first got to the scene here, they went inside one of these houses. You can see here behind me on Illinois Drive. That's in the Tice area of Lee County. And as you can see, the road is still closed down to traffic at this hour with crime scene tape. And it's been that way since about 9 o'clock this morning. But the Sheriff's Office says once those deputies approached the man having that mental crisis inside the house, things went south and fast. The Lee County Sheriff's Office says the man in crisis was holding some sort of weapon. The department says deputies tried de-escalation tactics, but they failed, and the man started moving toward a deputy. This deputy attempted to retreat several times during the incident, but could not retreat further, and at that time used deadly force. The sheriff's office did not reveal the man's identity, but several neighbors told us he's a young man in his teens. One neighbor was willing to speak with us on camera. It happened this morning. She was sleeping. I was sleeping too. Amanda Lago says she didn't hear the shooting, but couldn't believe it when she saw deputies in her quiet neighborhood. We were surprised. My mom was like, what? We didn't know nothing about this. The sheriff's office does not have any information about the man's health at this time, but said he did receive medical care. Deputies on scene provided medical attention to the suspect, and this investigation remains active. Now, we do also know the man was taken to the hospital for his injuries, but we don't have, again, an up-to-date status at this hour on his health condition. Now, we also know that just from our reporting, this is the second deputy-involved shooting here in Lee County this year alone. Now, we're also working to find out why deputies made the initial decision to enter the house, something the department tells me is still part of its active investigation. In Lee County, Rob Manch, Fox 4.